It was the first uh, day of shooting. And prior to that, I've trained um, quite a, a bit with the stunt team, but not necessarily essentially the, the choreography of what it was going to be. Uh, but it came about fairly quickly because they knew how I moved and they knew what I could do. And so they came up with a choreography. We rehearsed it a few times, uh, I think in the course of two days here in, Van in Vancouver. And, and then we shot it. It was, I mean, it was pretty impressive to be in that forest, which is ginormous. And, and, and the weather was quite nice, but like quite hot underneath all the prosthetic and the costume. But it's also the first day of shooting, which was really, really exciting. And to be on set with Simon, who was lovely, and it was just, it was so much to take in, but then having to do a good job at the same time. But I just essentially was fairly focused on the whole, on the whole, on the whole set and, you know, just stay in character, stick to the circumstances. Um, and Simon was just essentially in the background being terrified slash impressed, I think, by, by the whole situation. But also, I think, probably grateful that he was still alive and was wondering what was happening. But it was, we had great moments on that, on, on those few first days. Jayla and Scotty definitely developed some sort of like, uh, brother and sister sort of relationship, which is, which is, I mean, that's what I felt the whole time and even outside, outside, uh, not, not on screen, not, not, not on set. And we kind of had that dy dynamic naturally too. We established that fairly soon. Um, but, you know, at that point, Jayla has been on, on, on Altamede quite a, quite a long time and, and had, experience loneliness, I think. And so whenever she meets Scotty, she's quite at first defensive because there's also all the hiders that are on the planet and she's been protecting herself very much on her own. And little by little, she's, she meets a friend and she discovers that she's not alone, and which is very reassuring, but very much guarded because she's, I think, worried that this will only turn into some sort of disappointment. When I got in Vancouver and we finally sat down to have a proper chat, I, I, I told him, one of the first thing I told him is, don't hesitate to give me notes, criticism, I can actually take them. I don't know if it's because of dancing background, but as a dancer, it's never enough. Like you can do the best move ever and it's, you can all, people push you all the time and I'm used to that. So I told Justin, go for it. I can. I can just take that, and he, and he definitely took those notes for, for me, which I really appreciated, and and I really like his note. He's very subtle, and 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 I like where he puts his mind. It's not in the obvious and the expected, and I and I appreciated that a lot. In LA, we rehearsed for quite a bit, like training, physical training, essentially to prep to prep me. And one of the first thing Mike told me is, "You got to be healthy." You gotta be healthy, because this is gonna be a lot. And in the meantime, they just prepped me, prepped me, and I was wondering, when am I gonna see the choreography? When are we gonna start building? And one day I showed up, and they showed it to me, and it was there. Because whenever I wasn't present for the three hours that I was training for, they were actually um, building the choreography, and then it was approved at some stage, and then they just taught it to me. And they work really fast, and they're really efficient. I love how you know, Mike's direction of very, specific and I love how his team listens and how they work together and things are applied fairly quickly and I was impressed with that. I think uh, the, the process is long, long fun, fun, long, long hours of fun. Now it, it's quite long and you have to go into that sort of like meditation state whenever you get in the chair. It's, um, I actually secretly enjoyed it. I enjoyed the, the, the mental process behind it because you like the, the meditation aspect of it is like getting into character you actually take this time sometimes you get on set and you have very little time hair and makeup costume boom you're on set do it and I appreciated like the fact that I could take my time those four hours of makeup three and a half hour it varies at times um, I like that time but then I also appreciate it like I've, I've never never done prosthetic before um, I like that second skin I like what it brought to me. It's like, as soon as I had it on, you feel in character. I wouldn't feel any, any way near it if I, hadn't, if I didn't have it on. 
And once you put it on, boom, I felt like Jayla immediately. Sonia is one of the first person I met whenever we started the process of building the character. And, and I love how he started with the costume. I had no idea what the, the direction was going to be. And it turned out being a second skin and very much an outfit that you can tell someone have put, has put together throughout the years and kind of ha handmade or sewed or patched all together. Um, it, it feels like a snake sort of skin, you know? Like it's it definitely like a second skin. It felt really good, thin, something that you could move in because of all the fight, but also something that very much resembled Jayla. They're quite a family, and it's beautiful to watch. Um, whatever you saw on one and two, it's something that you can see in real life. They have a very special and beautiful dynamic. I, I was even asking, that is this, I mean, I've been on tours, I've been on a few other sets, not a lot, but there is a, such a beautiful energy between all of them, and it definitely reads on screen. Um, it's, it's, it's beautiful to be a part of that. I feel very grateful. I, I love all of them to bits. I loved working with Simon. Absolutely adore that. He is a wonderful human being and great to work with. He is, he is so much fun. Me and Simon laughed so much on set, and he's really goofy. He just, he's always up for a laugh. Yeah, she has those probes that, that allows her, those refractors that allows her to, uh, to, it's just holograms, basically, to distract the, the enemy and to confuse them. James Bond fans, did you know that Skyfall is the only Bond movie ever made by an Oscar-winning director? Hmm, now that's interesting. Want more movie facts? Click on more videos. Or for the latest trailers? Click on the playlist.